Joining us here in the studio now is Early Show medical correspondent Dr. Jennifer Ashton, who wore a warm, cozy sweater today, which is a wise right. move in the studio. I'm freezing studio. right here. So we did hear from Kelly. There's a biological reason for this. The sexes really do feel cold differently. Could there ever be, though, other factors at play as well? Well, the answer is yes. There can be a combination of factors at play here. And you talk about medical reasons. Probably the two most common for women are anemia or a low blood count or an underactive or low-functioning thyroid. So women who bleed heavily with their periods periods or who have fibroids can definitely run a little anemic and women over the age of 50 very commonly can have an underactive thyroid. Both of those can make you feel colder inappropriately almost. Very easy to diagnose with a simple blood test and very easy to treat. Okay and that could bring some peace to your home. Exactly. Uh, but there could be some benefits too to it being a little bit chillier wherever you are. Exactly. So the silver lining here, if you will, has to do with an entity known as brown fat. Babies are born with brown fat because they can't shiver to keep themselves warm. So it's very metabolically active. It works kind of like a furnace in our bodies. We lose it as we age, but there is some new research that shows that if we're exposed to slightly colder temperatures, around 63 to 66 degrees Fahrenheit, we can actually stimulate the production of brown fat mm. and burn more calories. So that is a silver lining. That is a silver lining. It is not an excuse to Chris Raggy to keep the studio a meat locker. <laughs> however. So for those of us who are perhaps always a little challenged in the warmth department, best ways for us to stay warm. So basic, common, easy to do tips. Dress in layers. We hear that over and over again, especially in the winter. Be active. Getting your blood circulating definitely will help you feel a little warmer, rev up your body's metabolism. Drink warm drinks, coffees, teas. Warm your body from the inside out is a Even good way. Even hot water. Absolutely. Can definitely warm you from the inside out. And lastly, we, I say it all the time, get more sleep. A well-rested body typically is a body that's easier to keep itself at a nice warm level. If none of those things work, cuddle up. There. <laughs> and with Valentine's Day just around the That's corner, right. why not? Exactly. Jen, good to have you here. Thanks. Thanks.